Hello everyone, we are back doing our test route two. Um, this might be the only, what well, this will be the third video. That may be the only videos I do um, um, for this version. Let's not go with this car coming. It's good, it's one of the only times I've ever had a car coming when I've stopped at this. That, that's great. Perfect stop, perfect um, acceleration afterwards. Perfect turn. I, I honestly couldn't have asked for any better on that turn. Um, yeah, if you haven't watched the other videos, um, I think there are some improvements in Asheville. It wasn't, uh, I don't think it was terrible. I think it just got really bad luck, um, is what happened there. There's a couple close calls, uh, definitely close calls, um, on, on those. Um, but of good note, um, if you didn't see that video, uh, the very first Asheville video, I explained I went from Boone, North Carolina to Asheville, North Carolina, 88 miles, and had three disengagements. Um, of like 85 of those miles, one disengagement. I got into the wrong turn. I got into the wrong lane and needed to go straight, and for some reason got in the turn lane, which I I didn't want to let it just. It looked like it wasn't gonna. It will. It was a weird situation. It potentially could have caused um, issues. It needs to stop, stop, stop. Okay. Previous updates would have launched right there. That's good. Um, what's that? So, the last like two or three miles going into Asheville, um, there was a guy uh, merging in. I was on 240 going around Asheville. This guy merging on. Uh, coming in this direction I was going straight and he was merging in and it looked like he was just going to merge into the side of me it looked like he was just going to keep on going wasn't paying attention I think his wife grabbed him on the shoulder or something uh, I um, disengaged and floored it to make sure he wasn't going to run into me um, looking at the dash cam footage afterwards oh, come on uh, we're going to disengage here because I don't want to go that direction uh, that's not going to count uh, as a disengagement. I just wanted to reroute the way I will want to go home. Um, what did I say? So, yeah, that was the second disengagement. And then right before I went to go uh, park in Carolina Lane, it's um, disengaged uh, because it, there was a car in the middle of the intersection that decided not to go for whatever reason. So it was kind of in my way. And my car was just going to try, like, go, like, it was going towards it, you know, like, like it might have made it, might have not. I took the safer route, disengaged, because it was doing something that just didn't feel right. So, yeah, um, I think three disengagements for 88 miles is pretty good. Um, only like 20 of those were highway driving. It was, the most of it was two lane road, two lane back country mountain roads. So that was a good slowdown and good acceleration afterwards. I did not touch the pedal there. We actually don't want it to accelerate up to 40 here because um, it just comes in too fast through this merge, at least for my liking. Okay, so right here it needs to be slowing down and it slowed down to 30, which is okay. It See, it needs to turn the blinker on right here and it just doesn't do it. Like, I had to turn that blinker on. And it's frustrating, like, that it's one time ever. And I don't know, I think it just did it by accident. I think it was just luck. Um, it, and that same version, it never did it again. So never, only one time ever has it ever correctly turned the blinker on and done that on its own. And so it has to be an intervention, otherwise it just kind of, you know, zippers together. And it's just not the correct way to merge right there. And it's usually not safe because you usually have a car. Uh, coming alongside of you. Let's say it bounces. Now it's gonna get over a lane. Yep, there's a police car waiting there. Waiting to pull someone over going too fast. Uh, and people regularly go 30 mile an hour on this 20 section right here. I'm definitely okay with going a little bit faster than 20. 25 is my ideal speed on this road, but 
30 is definitely too fast. Uh, and that's why they're sitting there for sure. Yep, so this version again does this merge good right here or getting into this tunneling rather. Let's see if it do is the same getting right here. Yep, so that's good. Same as previous last update. I noticed, oh, see, that's, again, too fast. Um, it doesn't see, it doesn't read the speed limit sign. And it doesn't get to the map data until we're already at the intersection. So it speeds all the way up to 35 mile an hour. And then it takes forever to slow back down to 20. So I have to flick it down to 20 real quick. Otherwise, I'm going to be going 15 over. And that's uh, clearly unsafe and not gonna get, and it's gonna give me a ticket if I don't slow it down myself. Notice I'm having to slow down the speed already because it changes from a 45 to a 35 here. And sometimes there is a cop waiting here to catch people. Um, so it should already be going 40 at most when it hits this sign for me. Which, I, that if you saw how far back I had to scroll down uh, just to hit that. I'm fine again going 40 right here, but it should not be going 45. And I'm going to let it do its thing. Again, I'm going to prove a point that it should not be... It should um, be getting over now to this lane versus waiting up here. Hey everyone, I just wanted to interject real quick. So up ahead, uh, forwarding, uh, I almost get in an accident and I get really frustrated about it. This proves a very strong point of why I'm not a fan of staying in the left lane and I will not be doing this going forward. I will be telling the car to get over before him. Just wanted to mention that. Love you all, bye. And I might be proven wrong again because of that car turning off. Nope. Okay, I see. I have to watch really closely here. They're like, this adds so much extra stress to my drive. I this! Why, why is this car stopped here? Okay, sorry, Onyx. Okay. Well, I don't... Reason like this is why I like having fast acceleration. That is a perfect example why you should get in the right lane <laughs> before you get to the exit. Because it leaves no room to get over. I hate you, the people that tell me otherwise you're wrong. <laughs> For this exact reason, you can hear the anger in my voice because you don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it at all. get over earlier than last minute Tesla if you're watching perfect example I was like oh it's gonna prove me wrong and then I don't know there's worst case scenario I don't even know why that car stopped there I almost rear into that person I'm lucky a car wasn't behind me or I might have been rear-ended like, like this is like the fifth almost accident I've got today it's absurd um, I would say that's probably my fault, but like, I don't know everyone, that, that, that's, I, I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore, this is the perfect example why I'm not, I'm just gonna always get over it in the lane when it, when it needs to get over. This is the perfect example why it needs to get in the right lane before, like a hundred feet before the exit, that's not safe.
I guess the car is right in that case. That um, I wanted to get over it because I was seeing this slow van in front of me. I didn't notice how slow it was going. It annoys me when I go up to speed right before a speed limit and then cross the speed limit and then it's like, oh, no, it's slow back down again because it can't change the speed limit back. Like, I feel like if you just change the speed limit, it should just negate the speed limit change. It should, like, let you override it for, like, 30 seconds. If it sees a new one, then change it. Okie dokie, everyone. See how it does getting off the exit here. And it gives us our last turn. So clearly that was not a zero disengagement drive and because of, um, again, bad luck, uh, we uh, def... Yeah, see that was very harsh slowdown getting off the exit. Used a lot of brakes, wasted a lot of energy. Uh, but yeah, let's see how it makes this turn here. Fortunately, the last, like, I don't know, six updates hasn't messed this turn up anymore. I can clearly see this median now and doesn't try and turn right at a left turn. So that's that's a bonus. The stuff like the, those type of regressions I look for and see if they ever happen again. So there's no one coming from either direction. The car is clear to go. Like it doesn't have, like the creep wall doesn't come up until last second then it just kind of goes through. It's interesting how it decides that, but hey, it did it. That's all, that's what counts, eh? Um, yeah, um, I'm still really frustrated. I would like to know what you guys think of that situation down below. Um, I Because of that, I will never let it do that again. That's exactly why. I, I couldn't have asked for a better example why I don't stay in the left lane and try and cut in front of people. It's not worth saving 30 seconds. I can't exclaim that more. I've done that. Um, that's the worst it's ever been trying to get over on that exit. I don't know why someone stopped in the middle of the road. I don't know what that was about. But anyways, um, hope everyone has had a fantastic night. Christmas is coming up. I hope uh, Hanukkah. Hope you have a fantastic holiday. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.